Hello, my name is Webin Bergman, Key Account Manager with IFS North America, and this is a webcast providing an overview demo covering bulk and template ordering in IFS Cloud 21 R2. A quick recap, if this is your first look at IFS Cloud, IFS Cloud is replacing the product name IFS Applications, and IFS Cloud is the most recent version of the IFS application. IFS Cloud comes with the HTML5-based user experience Arena that was first introduced in Apps 10. Arena is an operating system agnostic client that runs on all major browsers and devices. Arena is also truly responsive, a truly responsive web app, which means that you can access your IFS Cloud experience on your Windows laptop, Android tablet, and iPhone Arena will run on all three platforms and adopt the screen layout based on which device you're running. If you're interested in learning more about the new Arena user experience, go to the IFS webcast channel or search for webcasts on the IFS community website. With IFS Cloud, the new release cadence will include two major releases per year, one in the spring and one in the fall. This presentation covers features in the 21 fall release of IFS Cloud 21 R2. In between the major spring and fall releases, there will be monthly service updates to provide critical patches to our customers as fast and secure as possible. Here's a more schematic view of what it looks like. If you're running Apps 9 today, you're already in extended support phase which will go through March of 2023. Starting March 2023, Apps 9 will be in restricted support mode. The extended support period for Applications 10 has been lengthened until March of 2028. Update 14 for Apps 10 was released in December of 2021. Today's presentation is on 21R2 and similar to 21R1 and subsequent IFS Cloud releases, R2 will be followed by 24 monthly service updates. With IFS Cloud version, IFS has launched a truly evergreen platform where there are no more upgrade projects as you might know it from previous versions. The process of upgrading from one version to the next is measured in hours, not in weeks and months. Moving on to the main topic of this session, bulk and template ordering overview demo. Bulk and template ordering uh, is a new capability that comes in IFS Cloud 21 R2. Bulk Ordering in B2B has been introduced based on requirements for faster and or semi-automatic ordering entry of customer orders with large numbers of order lines per order. With the new bulk order capabilities, customer demand can be keyed in through a B2B front-end in an easy-to-use grid-based format or order lines can be imported from a transactional file. In IFS Cloud 21R2, there is a new business process called Enter Bulk Order B2B. The process uses the B2B shopping cart as the placeholder, creating the custom orders. Let's have a look at what this looks like in the application. Before we go into the B2B uh, bulk order client, let's make sure that we have our back office setup configuration done correctly. The first thing we need to do is to make sure that we have a user defined as a or connected to rather a uh, customer so in my case I have the user UDPRLK connected to the customer UD1000 Continental Auto Retailers so the Continental Auto Retailers is the customer that we will get more familiar with as we go into uh, the B2B front end the customer itself needs to be set up as a B2B customer, so we enable and allow 
the user connected to this customer to log into the B2B front end. Next, I would like to uh, have a look at my assortment nodes. An assortment node is basically a tree structure of uh, parts that you can define to make it easy for your customers to find the parts that they uh, usually will buy from you or uh, are even allowed to buy from you. An assortment node can be as many level deep as you want it to be. In my example, I have an assortment called UDAA. If I expand the node and look at the tree structure here, I have two levels underneath my root uh, structure called uh, adhesive and bonding agents, brake fluids and lubricant oils. I can expand on these and look at the lowest level, the part number underneath, and look at the part details for all of the parts within that part of the node. So in lubricant oils, I got the four different parts to choose from. In the brake fluid section, I got two different parts to choose from. And I can look at these and, and uh, add more parts to the node, uh, adjust the information in the node, create another level, etc. Underneath assortment details, if I retrieve my same assortment node, I have an area called valid for customers. In my example, I only have one valid customer for this assortment node. So an assortment node can be exclusive for one customer, or if you choose to add another customer to the current uh, assortment node, you just hit the plus sign. You re retrieve the customer that you're looking for, add that customer to the assortment node details, and now customer 905 Southwest Racing is also included and can use the assortment details or the assortment products underneath, underneath uh, UDAA. Now that we have our products and customer all defined and connected, let's uh, log in to the B2B portal and see what the, the user experience looks like. We can start out using the order management lobby for our B2B customers. And uh, first, uh, well, here I can look at open orders, bulk orders, what's in my shopping cart, quotations, etc. Uh, I would like to start with uh, the product view. So I look at the, the products that I have. In addition to the auto accessory products that we just went through in the setup, there is also a second area called the UD Automobile. Uh, so I can look at all of these, or I can choose to look at only the accessories. I have a nice little view here of the products in the various sections. And uh, if I choose to, I can go in and say, you know, I like to order this one and uh, order a quantity, add that to my cart, and away you go. However, there is an easier way, and uh, that's called uh, the bulk order and the bulk order templates. So that's where we're going next. Let's look at the order template. Using an order template, I can either take an existing template, let's say the demands for February, and uh, edit that one, change the quantities as I like, or add more part lines, or I can create a brand new uh, order template and say, these are my uh, demands for April of 2022. Now I can add the products one by one by clicking on the plus sign, or I can just go in and say, you know, my demands are the same from month to month. So I'm going to use an existing, existing template. I can also upload the part or the order lines from a CSV file, either using the part number or the GT number along with the quantity. And uh, that's uh, all you need to upload the file. You just drop it in the area in here and you upload it to your, uh, your order template. In my case, I'm going to take the 
demands for February, use those as my starting point. I have those in my order template for April now. I can go in and say, well, you know, the demands here will go down a bit for one of these parts. It will go up for one of the other, two of the others, and it will remain unchanged for the brake fluids. I'll save that. Now I have my order template for the April demands saved in the system. Let's now go to the bulk order. So uh, the bulk order is where you gather all the information from the templates manually or uploaded from files brought into the system. I can either create a brand new bulk order. Uh, these are my Q2 demands or whatever, or I can use the empty bulk order that they already established for us here. I can take this bulk order, say, okay, let's uh, load my products. Uh, I can upload the products from my template. So let's start out with the January demands. And by the way, you can also here, just as in the in the template uh, uh, portion of the system, you can upload the, the order lines from your CSV file with the product identifier being the part number, your part number, or GT number, plus the quantity. I'm going to upload my demands from the order template for January demands. Get those into my bulk order. I would like to add my demands from uh, for February. So I do that as well. Those are added to the bulk order. And uh, let's uh, load the demands that we created here also for April. I can, of course, go in, edit manually, add additional lines, and make whatever adjustments I need to on the bulk order. Now we have the same part number repeated three times in this bulk order. So if I use the aggregate product quantities functionality, I will accumulate the demands for the three uh, orders that I uploaded to my bulk order. So each part number now exist once and the quantity of course is the aggregated quantity of the three templates that i uploaded to my uh, 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 bulk order the last remaining step now for the order to go to processing is just to add the products to cart i click the add the process to cart uh, button and I can proceed, upload the, the, the custom order or the bulk order to, to my cart. Note that I can also choose to save this as a template and say, you know, the three accumulated templates, January, February, and April, will now become my Q1 order. And uh, you have to bear with me for missing much. And that will be my uh, template that I can use for the next quarter. One more thing to note here. If I take a look at this Q4 demand worksheet, I've used the CSV file upload function. If you have parts coming in through the CSV file uploaded into the bulk order or the template, you can work on errors like you know in this case part numbers that don't exist in the system or if the quantities for some reason seem to be completely out of whack you can change and update that in uh, the bulk order or on the template before you process the order into uh, into the shopping cart That concludes this overview demo covering bulk and template ordering in IFS Cloud 21R2. Thank you for watching.